What if the world's oil were to suddenly disappear overnight? What if your life was totally different? What if is a scary possibility? Believe it or not, oil is involved in almost every aspect of your life. Think of your morning routine. Your alarm goes off, what's the first thing you do? Whether your snooze button is old school plastic or new school electronic, it's been made with petrochemicals. And so is your toothbrush and your toothpaste. Lipstick? Yes. Shaving cream? Absolutely. God forbid you washed your hair this morning because that bottle of shampoo is a product of pure chemistry and oil. If you thought losing oil just meant giving up cars, you've been taken for a ride. Only 43% of the oil we use is consumed at the pump. And the other 57%? You may have to look within you for that answer, literally. The Centers for Disease Control tested humans for environmental chemicals and metals and found 212 compounds in their bodies. Can you guess how many were linked to oil? 180. Yep, that's right. Our lives, much like our cars, much like our world, rely on oil. Eighty-nine percent of American cars require gasoline and considering that most people drive to work and then to the grocery store, well, say goodbye to business and food. Most supermarkets are supplied by trains and delivery trucks that run on gas and diesel. Forget traveling overseas to see your relatives, ten percent of every barrel of oil is used for jet fuel. The world's interconnected travel and trade routes would shut down, but hey, if you live in a city, chances are there'll be more available parking. If you don't live in a city, you're in luck, sort of, and only for a little bit. In one week, a lot of places would lose electricity. While only 1% of America's electricity is directly powered through oil, the grid mostly relies on coal and natural gas, which is also supplied by gas-powered trains and trucks. In one month, most major cities would become blacked out, foodless free-for-alls. City slickers would take the battle to the countryside, fighting rural inhabitants for food, livestock, and homegrown vegetables. Most survivors would barely escape without a scratch, running the risk of infection and disease resulting from a lack of first aid and medical products made from petrochemicals. In a few months, developed countries would lose half their population to starvation, exposure, and inadequate medical care. Another third would die by the end of the year. In five years, the only survivors would be in remote farming communities. Growing vegetables and salting meat would become the new norm. We would essentially go back to living life as it was at the turn of the 20th century. We'd trade back our internal combustion engines for coal-powered steam ones. The world's population would shrink to about 1.5 billion. But if all went well after that, we could return to today's quality of life in roughly 400 years. But there's still one side of this story we haven't yet mentioned. There'd be no internet, and you wouldn't be able to watch this video. So share it while you can, with all your friends just in case. And join us next time on What If.